Using the Matilda Day website as an example, we're going to use Burp Sequencer to check the strength of cross-site request forgery tokens at various security levels in Matilda Day. So we're going to start with security level 1. First, we're going to delete all of our cookies using Cookie Manager. That will give us a fresh start with any tokens that are created. We'll refresh the page. And then toggle security to get to security level 1. So in security level 1, Matilda does generate cross-site request forgery tokens for the add to your blog page. However, it doesn't do it the same way as in security level 5. So to capture the tokens, we're going to use Burp Suite, turn the intercept on, go back to Firefox, and refresh the page. We've captured our request in Burp Suite. We're going to right click and say send to sequencer. And then we'll turn the intercept off. The response from the web server is shown in the sequencer. We're going to use manual selection and find the cross site request forgery token, which is located near the bottom. So the site request forgery token is a hidden field inside the form. Currently has a value of 13,100. By highlighting the value, the sequencer automatically selects it. We can give it even more chance of finding the right token by copying the information around the token and then placing it into the after expression field. So we copy the entire input box up to the value, not including it. And then sequencer automatically already adds the stuff after the token. I'm going to hit start capture. And we'll need about 100 to 200 tokens to get a good analysis. So what we're going to do is pause and collect another 100 or 200 tokens. So we have about 160 tokens captured. We can hit analyze now to get an idea of where we're at. And right now, there's zero bits of entry. tree. That means that the tokens are not random at all. We have 200, we can analyze again. It's still zero bits, it's not getting any better. So let's stop this analysis and change the security level. We're going to switch to security level 5, turn on the capture, refresh, right click, send the request to the sequencer, turn the intercept off, go to sequencer, do a manual selection, and find the token again. So we found the token, it's still cross-site request forgery token. We're going to highlight it and hit start capture. So now that Burp Sequencer is starting to capture the Security Level 5 token, we're going to let it capture around up between 100 and 200 for a better analysis. So we have approximately 125 tokens captured. We'll go ahead and analyze and see where we're at. So at this point, we have 146 bits of entropy. The Security Level 1 tokens had zero. This one has quite a few. If we hit Analyze now at 150, it's still 146 and at 200 is probably going to be somewhere between 132 and 146 bits. It's a very strong token. So there's something different between the security level 1 and the security level 5. Without giving away any answers to challenges for level 1, you should look and see if the token always starts at the same number in level 1 and then also subtract subsequent tokens from the previous tokens and find out what the difference is between them and that'll give a clue as to why the security level 1 token is actually not random at all.